Hey everybody, it's Robert again. I want to say thanks for watching my channel. Like and subscribe. I appreciate all those positive comments. I'm crouched down here because I'm going to be working on my wife's car, uh, her Acura MDX. I went ahead and made a huge mistake, and it's my fault, not hers. Went in and out, drove, trying to go around a certain spot, didn't pay attention, hit the curb there. Um, so, unfortunately, it was my mistake, not hers. Or, unfortunately, it was my mistake. Now I gotta pay for it and fix it. What I have here is different uh, sandpaper grits that I've used before, so it's a little bit worn out, but it's actually pretty good sandpaper. This one right here is 220, this is 320. That's all you really need. You don't need a super high grit. Make sure you have some gloves. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, use a Dremel to help grind down the uh, imperfections instead of using sandpaper, but sandpaper does work if you need to do everything by hand. Make sure you have safety equipment. I'm using a shield instead of goggles, but you can use goggles. I'm using gloves. I have different gloves, I have gloves. Now this is what the magic comes from. It's called um, high heat ceramic paint. It's in the silver, or they call it aluminum. And it gives a really nice metallic finish when it's done. So I'm hoping it's gonna look pretty close to what it should be. This is a bottle of alcohol and water 50-50 and Scott's towels to clean and apply the paint. And I'll show you how I did that. So let's go. So as I mentioned earlier, you can actually use sandpaper if you want. And get in here, which works. It takes a little bit longer to smooth it out, but it's not impossible. But we want to get rid of this ugly jaggedness. What I did is I was actually trying to get all, all that grittiness, those lines over here. And that's gonna make it a lot smoother. That curb rash, they usually call it, is the biggest eyesore that you'll have. So that's what I got is there. It's actually a clear coat here on top. I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, like I said, this is not gonna be perfect. I mean, you could sit there and clear coat it and do some other work for the magic, but this is just for a lease return. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now what you want to do is get your sandpaper and start to smooth it out as best you can. I mean, I have other wheels what I've done. When it was really bad curb rash, especially with a lip, this one doesn't have a lip lip. I filled it with actually Bondo if it's a painted wheel. I've seen people use a metal filler, so you can do that if you really have some bad gashes. That way it could be close to the metal finish or aluminum. sanding this. I'll put, since I got my dirty glove on here, I'm going to clean it one more time. I just want to see you guys show what it looks like up close. I'm going to get my high heat aluminum paint. Aluminum paint here.
I do the Scots towel because these are lower lint. They don't have as much lint like a paper towel and they don't tear as much. So when I apply it, it won't, it won't be so bad. What I'm doing, I'm gonna spray it to here and then I'm gonna apply it to help try to get this kind of brushy, strokey type of texture to this. Let's get up close with this. The hardest part was this part right here because of the larger area that got scratched. It's not going to be exactly the way I like it. But it's definitely better than what it was. So from a, a distance here, it's not going to look as bad as it did. It won't look as bad as it did before. So it's more of a three footer. So again, it's not made to be perfect. Okay guys, we're just doing it so that way it doesn't show that roughness from a distance. So when they're walking around for a lease return, they're not saying, hey man, this looks horrible. You know, up close here, yes, you can see there's still imperfection. But from a distance, like this, and when they're standing up, and looking at, your, looking at it like this and going, okay, do I see anything wrong with this? from my height, because they're not going to crouch down and look. They're going to say, hey, it looks fine. I want to say thanks again for watching my channel, liking and subscribing. Thanks again, guys. Another one.